Very good morning. You're watching today in Parliament with me, Ashwarya Kapoor. These are the headlines. Private members' resolutions in both houses. In Rajya Sabha, Bhupendra Yadav's resolution to amend laws to hold simultaneous Lok Sabha and Assembly polls. Tiruchi Seva's resolution for suitable legislation for the welfare of widows. Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill 2018 Bill in Lok Sabha. Agreement on discussion on Triple Talak Bill on 27th of December. Discussion on natural calamities slated in the lower house. And report of Public Accounts Committee along with the reports of various department related parliamentary standing committees in the Rajya Sabha. Finance Minister to lay statement on supplementary demands for grants 2018-19. It is the last day of the second week of the winter session of Parliament and in the upper house today, Home Minister Rajnath Singh will lay on the table of the house a copy of the proclamation issued by the President on the 19th of December under Article 356 of the Constitution in relation to imposing President's rule in the state. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will lay on the table a statement showing supplementary demands for grants 2018-19 and today being private members' legislative business, six private members' resolutions are slated in the upper house. Apart from this, the reports of various department-related uh, parliamentary standing committees will also be tabled. And the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill 2018 is listed in the Lok Sabha's list of business. The bill was introduced in the lower house on Monday. The bill seeks to protect the rights of married Muslim women and to prohibit divorce by pronouncing talaq by their husbands. The bill will replace the ordinance that was promulgated on 19th of September. It makes uh, all the declaration of talaq, including in written or electronic form, to be void and illegal. It also makes a declaration of talaq a cognizable offence, attracting up to three years' imprisonment with a fine. And also in the Lok Sabha, discussion under Rule 193 is listed. Ratru Hari Mahatab and P. Venu Gopal will raise a discussion on natural calamities in various parts of the country, particularly in Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Odisha, with special reference to cyclones like Gaja, Titli, etc. Well, our colleague uh, Kriti Mishra is now joining us uh, live from Parliament. Uh, Kriti, it's Friday today and uh, we'll see private members' resolutions in both houses. Uh, in Rajya Sabha, resolution to hold uh, simultaneous Lok Sabha and Assembly polls is there and also there is uh, one for suitable legislation for the welfare of widows. What all can we expect in the upper house today? Well, Ashwarya, over the last few days, we've seen repeated disruptions in the House. Uh, these disruptions have came in despite repeated assurances uh, from Chairman MVK and I do that all the discussions on all crucial uh, issues would be allowed in the House. In fact, uh, you must have seen that discussion on several crucial issues were also slated to be taken up but could not be taken up in the House due to repeated disruptions. In fact, the government has also clarified that it is ready to discuss all the issues including the Rafale deal on the floor of the House. As you know, today is uh, the day for transaction of private members' business. As you've mentioned, there are important resolutions to be moved and Bupendra Yadav of the BJP will move a resolution to hold simultaneous uh, elections, uh, the Lok Sabha elections as well as the Assembly elections and also Tiruchi Seva of the DMK will move a resolution for the welfare of widows. Vandana Chavan of the NCP will move a resolution for providing compensation to the patients suffering because of faulty medical implants. And Amar Shankar Sable of the BJP would move a resolution for a regulatory framework for authorizing the unauthorized colonies. So there are a lot of uh, items and uh, on the agenda of the Rajya Sabha and it remains to be seen whether there's a consensus in the House to ensure that there are smooth proceedings of the House. Eshwarya? Right. Uh, Kritian, speaking about Lok Sabha, uh, on Thursday it passed uh, two bills uh, before adjourning for the day due to protests by the opposition parties. And uh, today, uh, of course, the Triple Talaq bill is uh, also listed, though there has been an agreement on, in, on a discussion on it on 27th of December. And there is also a discussion going to happen. Uh, what is expected in Lok Sabha? 
Well, Ashwara, it is important to understand how pertinent is this issue because in the morning only there were news reports that in Hyderabad there was a school principal who gave triple talaq, instant triple talaq to his wife over phone. Remember, the Supreme Court had struck down this practice in August 2017, saying that this practice is unconstitutional and against the fundamental rights of Muslim women. The Supreme Court had also asked the government to legislate a law within six months. During the previous sessions as well, we saw that the government uh, brought in this uh, proposed law and also it had to promulgate ordinances. Hmm. Remember, after, in fact, uh, the Supreme Court's ban, there have been more than 248 cases and since uh, January 2017, there have been more than 400 cases. So now the government is working assiduously to ensure that all political parties come on board to ensure that this crucial bill sees light of day in winter session of parliament. And of course, the uh, political parties have agreed to take up discussion on this bill right. on 27th of December. Ashwarya? Right. Kriti, thank you so much for all those updates there from Parliament. And in the lower house, the following bills are slated. Health Minister J.P. Nadda will move the Indian Medical Council Amendment Bill 2018. The bill seeks to further amend the Indian Medical Council Act of 1956. J.P. Nadda will also move uh, the National Medical Commission Bill 2017. The bill seeks to provide for a medical education system that ensures availability of adequate and high-quality medical professionals. It also encourages medical professionals to adopt the latest medical research in their work and to contribute to research. Ravi Shankar Prasad will move the New Delhi International Arbitration Center Bill 2018 that seeks to provide for the establishment and incorporation of New Delhi International Arbitration Center. And today's private members reserve business in both houses in the Rajya Sabha. There will be private member resolutions. So there will be further discussion on Tiruchi Siva's resolution. It is urging the government to bring a suitable legislation for the welfare of widows in the country, which is able to address their social security needs. Vandana Chavan will move a resolution urging the government to create a separate regulator to track the reporting of uh, adverse effects uh, and take action to protect the public from uh, faulty medical devices. Mahesh Podar's resolution is uh, urging the government to reconsider the exchange pays model for securities uh, traded on exchanges and other payment models to avoid conflict of interest by conducting uh, feasibility studies. Vijaypal Singh Tomar's resolution is urging the government to establish a Rashtriya Kisan Aayog or the National Farmers Commission with constitutional status to resolve problems being faced by the farmers. Bupendra Yadav's resolution is urging the government to amend the election and other related laws forthwith to hold Lok Sabha and Assembly elections simultaneously, which gives a period of clear five years to the incumbent government to focus on governance. Amar Shankar Sable's resolution is urging the government to formulate a national policy for the regularization and other aspects related to unauthorized colonies, slums and jhuggi clusters. And the following ministers will lay papers on the table in the Rajya Sabha. Ravi Shankar Prasad with the Ministry of Law and Justice. Radha Mohan Singh for the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Rao Inderjeet Singh for the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers. Manoj Sinha for the Ministry of Communications. Rajen Gohain for the Ministry of Railways. And the following questions will be asked in the Rajya Sabha for which ministers concerned will give oral replies. Here are a few of them. Naresh Gujral will ask the Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. The premium collected by 17 insurance companies uh, empanelled under the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana against their uh, payouts uh, to claims in the past three years. Naran Bhai will ask the Minister of Communications whether many villages in various uh, districts of South Gujarat are deprived of mobile services. Hussain Dalwai's question will be to the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. He will ask whether the Ministry is uh, cognizant of the deaths due to undernutrition or starvation and if so, the details uh, for the last two years state-wise. 
Rita Prata Banerjee will ask the Minister of Electronics and Information Technology the amount spent by UIDAI on information, education and communication activities to generate awareness and convey the benefits of Aadhaar to the residents. Motilal Vora's question will be to the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. He will ask the quantum of food grains uh, that rotted in government godowns from April 2014 to March 2018 and the officials found responsible for the same. And the proceedings of the upper house are going to begin in a short while from now right at 11am. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.